Sora March, where are you? I'll go find you folks. There's no reception here. Can't send the message out. Wait, the network is down. But some functions still work? Virtually nothing has changed since I left. Apart from darkness, this place is all that I remember of the Law Fool. So he has been here before. Don Hong, you're being really you're being really Shadow sus right now. Knight armor. A conflict with the Cloud Knights? Mm, not likely. Mr. Yang wouldn't let that happen. Ooh. Where are these people? Stay where you are. I can handle this. Emergencies should be dealt with by professionals. Oh, don't worry, we're here. <laughs> Strangers. Wait, no oh! Conflict. Wait, we're playing a new... A new person? Let me through. Who is this? this? What? Wait, I need to try her. <gasps> Look at all those chickens! Oh my god, that was so cute. <laughs> see what, I can do? what? Was that a chicken? <laughs> The truth of life what the hell? <laughs> oh no, I'm dying. With you two risking your lives for me, could I really stay where I am? Ooh. Wait, okay, I can't use him. He's. Okay, so it's AI? Interesting that we get to try these characters. Are you two okay? Yeah, no sweat. <laughs> Good. I'm Su Shang of the Cloud Knights. I was just transferred here from the Yao Ching. I did tell you to let me handle it. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. What if I accidentally hit you? Forgive me, miss, but you were too busy being hit yourself. It's a good thing I joined the fray. <laughs> I was protecting you more like. It's a Cloud Knight's job to protect others. And this area is under martial law. I'm escorting all civilians to safety. Follow me. And that was some impressive Cloud Knight spearmanship. Which unit are you from? Um, I'm not a Cloud Knight. You're a civilian, then. Come with me. Miss Sushang, what exactly has transpired here? In all my trade visits, I've never seen Starskiff Haven in such a state. I, uh... I can't comment on that. I was just ordered to rescue the civilians. Actually, I have no idea either. Anyway, you two just need to come with me. Hey, you're pretty quiet. What's your name? I've got forms to fill out. Can't put your name down as blank. My name is Don Hung. I'm a traveler. I'm on my way to meet up with my friends. I appreciate the help, but I can leave the port on my own. No can do, mister. It's oh. way too late. You won't find anyone at Starskiff Haven. If your friends made it out, then they'll already be in the safe zone. No need to worry. You'll see them when we get there. Aren't you going to take my name too, miss? You already said it when we were busy fighting. Law... Something. Locha! Is that right? <laughs> I remember it. Locha? Let's go. Stay close, you two. Cloud Knight Sushang will guarantee your safety. Interesting. New characters. Oh, one more thing. I need you to write your names down later. I don't know too many characters. I might make a mistake. <laughs> We're meeting so many new people now. Message not sent. Why not? Bad signal. Long range communication technology is still improving. Perhaps the presence of the Stellaron is affecting signal transmission. Doesn't seem like it. Everything else is working fine. See? In that case, it looks like someone wants to make things difficult for us. 
Since Kafka's here, I wouldn't be surprised if this turns out to be that Stellaron Hunter Hacker Girl's hand. Silver Wolf. Are we gonna see her again? Oh, you've arrived. Sorry to keep no, you waiting. No. Only an extra couple of hours. It's been a couple of hours? Stargazer Navalia is governed Whoops. by the Artisanship Commission. It took me a while to sort out our paperwork. I got a sense of the situation on my way back, just like at Cloudford. Stargazer Navalia's Meridian Pin has malfunctioned. The checkpoint there is abandoned, and the garrison is scrambling to locate the Stellaron. With monsters wreaking havoc and the knights scattered, Stargazer Navalia has become a perfect place for the suspect to hide out. Uh -huh. So we've got a bunch of monsters to deal with, an IPC most wanted Stellaron hunter to catch, and we have to do all that on our own without reinforcements? Well, fair enough. This isn't <laughs> our first rodeo. No, we've been through this. That's just what we do every day. <laughs> That's the trailblazing life for ya. I wouldn't say you're entirely on your own. <laughs> when you're ready, let's get going, shall we, my benefactors? Let's go. Now what's a hunt without a hound? Kafka is still at large, and the Skyfaring Commission wants this problem to go away. I made a few calls and managed to procure this from the Artisanship Commission. Perfect for hunting down suspects. Uh-huh. <gasps> Ooh! What is that? Who's this little guy? Aww, he's so cute! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what can he do exactly? Are we gonna set him loose on Kafka? <laughs> yes, and no. This is Deeting, a bionic dog developed by the oh, it's cute. Commission. Look at it. He has all it's the five baby. senses of the Foxian race and takes them to another level. Be it tracks or scent, as long as he uncovers a trace, he'll follow it all the way to the end. All we need to do is look for any trace left by Kafka. It doesn't matter how good she is at hiding, Dating will find her. But okay. before we get started, let's play with his settings a bit and get him ready. <laughs> okay. To begin with, let's set him to scent detection mode. Tell Dating to follow the scent of my perfume and see what he can do. Oh, look at it! Oh my god! It's following us! Oh, little baby! <sighs> We need to follow these sparkly traces to find Miss Ting Yoon, right? Oh, look at us! She's look at not it! In a hurry, that's for sure. Playing <laughs> hide and seek with us while Kafka's still at large. Oh my God, those little sounds when it walks! Oh my God! Oh my God, it's so cute! Can I keep it? <laughs> traces? Where did they go? Is D Ting malfunctioning? <laughs> Got it. He says the wind is too strong here at the port. So it's not easy to follow the scent. How do you know what it's saying? That's just the psychic bond between <laughs> cute girls and cute puppies. Uh huh. Using the environment to hide her traces. Our girl from the Skyfaring Commission sure knows how to put up a challenge. Let's look around and see if we can find any other clues. Or we could ask around. Look how busy this place is. Someone must have seen Miss Tin Yoon. That's not cheating, right? We're just collecting intel. Oh. Okay. Are we gonna ask people? Let's talk Excuse to these people. Me. Any chance you saw a foxy and lady pass by? Well, that's a heck of a question, miss. I'd say nearly one in every two people passing through Starskip Haven is foxy. We might have seen the lady you're looking for, but we wouldn't have batted an eyelid. <laughs> He's not lying. Still, if you, uh, describe her a little, maybe it'll jog our memory. Uh, she's pretty? Pretty? <laughs> That's too generic for a Foxian. Even if you don't count the ladies, there are plenty of gents that fit that description like a glove. <laughs> oh, man. As tedious as it is, I'm afraid you'll have to, uh, describe her in... Why does more. he sound like that? Please don't say two ears, one tail. Uh, gonna show him the photo? And say, I remember this fine lady. Good! Sense. I've been stood next to you this whole time, and I don't remember anyone like her. Well, I may not have seen her in person, but her beauty feels like a long-lost oh. acquaintance. 
How wonderful to be reunited with her after so long. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. My friend here appears to have uh, lost touch with reality. What's up with these guys? Oh, are you two professional time wasters or something? Please accept our apologies. Me and my partner do double act comedy in the Sleepless Earl. The tea house around the corner? As you can probably guess, with all these curfews and lockdowns, we've hardly had an audience the past few days. We figured we'd find a spot on the street and do some rehearsal. Just to stop us getting rusty. Uh -huh. Then you guys swung by asking for this Foxian lady, so we thought we'd give you a little bit of improv. Free of charge, I might add. Stay calm, stay calm. I did see the girl you're looking for. She took a turn from here. Finally, something useful. I'd suggest you head over that way. She might still be there. I find it hard to trust anything you've just said. We'll take it. There's a clue right here. A piece of white name card with a bird spreading its wings at a corner. No doubt this is a tiny clue she left for you. Or maybe there's more of them? Just so she's just throwing trash around? That's not cool, Ting Yun. Miss Ting Yun must have left us these clues, right? Deeting should be able to- Oh, she's right there! Now. You found me! Deeting's quite handy when it comes to tracking, isn't he? I, I just used my minimap, though. If you pick up traces of Kafka in Stargazer Navalia, just switch him on. Don't let her escape. Who would have thought that Stargazer Navalia might become so quiet? Long were the nights when the clangor of hammers rose to meet the Ooh. stars. People used to write poems about the shipwrights here. The Law Fu relies on the star skiffs produced here to transport people and goods. Now that work in the shipyard has stopped, our internal transport and outbound flights might also grind to a halt. <sighs> of course. The silver lining is, I don't have to go on as many trips anymore. <laughs> you don't seem to worry too much about the Sienjo, Miss Ting Yun. I wouldn't say that. A good businesswoman doesn't wear her heart on her sleeve. Besides, the Alliance has weathered plenty of challenges. We can handle this situation. Just to warn you, if we do run into Kafka, you'll have to do the fighting benefactors. No, I don't want to fight her. There's very little I can do. Except Ain't no way. Cheer you on from the sidelines. She don't want to fight us either. We're just gonna have give her a big hug. You want to leave all the fun to us? Not a lot of people out there could have fought the Mara struck like you did. I'm only a civil servant. I can't imagine what Kafka would do to me if I were caught in the fray. <laughs> We Foxians don't live as long as the Sanjo locals, but I still want to enjoy the hundred odd years I've got left. You'd do the same hundred, wouldn't you? Besides, the Madam Helm Master simply asked me to assist you in navigating around Starskiff Haven. It's no different to any other diplomatic mission or delegate reception. I was never much of a fighter, and I'm not one for risking my life either. Getting Ting into your hands is already beyond the realm of my job description. I'll definitely be putting in a few words next time we meet Yu Kong. Uh, don't be a snitch. Understood. <laughs> we won't put you out of your comfort zone, Miss Ting Yun. When we run into Kafka, we'll do the fighting. And the capturing, for that matter. Thank you for showing us the way. Before Ting can start tracking, you'll have to feed him some leads. If Some Kafka leads. is hiding in Stargazer Navalia, she'll have left behind traces. Let's spread out and look for them. I see no one here. Unturned. Shards of a Cloud Knight's weapon. Something really sharp caused this. It must have been Kafka. She's got a scary sword. So we need another clue? Oh, there's something here. The detail smells some. What's this? A jade seal used by the shipwrights. It opens various passages. It looks like someone used it and then destroyed it. Possibly Kafka. Uh, is that a grenade? What's that on the side? Uh, it's lipstick. A small something for the lost. Uh, she's clearly taunting us. <laughs> we should have enough clues. Oh, she knows we're coming for her. No time to lose. Let's give him the scent and let him lead the way. 
I think we've rounded up all our suspicious clues. But did Kafka leave them behind on accident or on purpose? I think it's on purpose. Kafka seems really smart and she knows what she's doing. Uh, she sure did put a lot of work into this gag. And I think we're the punchline. Uh, making us run around like jerks. I bet she's loving this. I can almost hear her whispering. Come and get me. <laughs> she sure is a Stellaron hunter, all right. Uh, why don't you go and marry her, huh? I, I, w I would love to, Marge. Don't forget, she's on the IPC's most wanted list. A fugitive that nobody can seem to pin down. And now we've become her prey while she stalks us in the shadows. Let's go, benefactors. Time is of the essence. We must be close. It's down here? The scent! Where did it go? Oh, when the trace of the <gasps> hunted disappears. The hunter better think twice. It might mean the tables have turned. Oh my god, it's Kafka. I've missed you so much. Kafka. Ah, yeah, Kafka. Gotta These act cloud mad. Mara struck. What did you do to them? Just a little persuasion to get them to listen to me. But you know all about that already, don't you? Oh my god, why is she talking to me like that? I can't. I can't. Oh, she's waking up something in me I never knew I had. Uh, don't look at me like that. What a hassle. <laughs> this place is too far for the diviner. See you up ahead. She's my mother. She gave birth to me, guys. Like, what did you expect? Gotta follow her. So Why not? Oh, she's there. <laughs> so close and yet so far. <gasps> You'll have to pick up the pace. No! Oh man, so close. <laughs> she's really taunting us. Here. We need to think of a way to cut her off. Don't worry about locked doors, benefactors. We can use the conveyor belts. Oh my god, she's running. Oh! Welcome, Astral Expressors. Looks like you caught me. This was all part of your plan. Come on. She wanted us here. Admit it, Kafka. You planned for us to come here. What are you gonna I do didn't to us? Anything. It was the future. We interfere on countless future possibilities and make the best future a reality. You speak too highly of us, Welt. The Stellaron Hunters are merely Destiny's slaves. <laughs> Best future? Best for who? As if you'd consider anyone but yourself. If I said best for the universe, would you believe me? <laughs> Best for me, naturally. I have a lot to ask you. Dude, I don't wanna... I don't... I don't understand. Is she really the bad guy here? We're taking you to see the General of the Law Fool. You can profess your innocence all you like, but the General will decide your fate. Oh, thanks. But no thanks. I can't stand moving at someone else's pace. We don't have much time. If I were you, I'd make a move before it's too late. A move? <gasps> Wait. How are we gonna... There's no way we can win against her. I don't believe that. I guess we're gonna try. Ow, Kafka. Oh. No. What? She, she's controlling my teammate. Hey, give her back. Ow, ow. Jesus. Oh, she hurts. Oh. <gasps> I need my healer. Ah, oh, she's back. We can heal again. It's actually crazy we're fighting her right now. It's over, Kafka. I'm sorry. <laughs> Finally. Oh. What? Your every move has been foreseen. 
by the Omnisia. Zishrin, <gasps> Divination Commission. Wow. I'll be taking the criminal Pretty. from here. Oh, she... We actually got her. Express. This is our first encounter. Though given that I have encountered you in Foresight, perhaps I should say the second. I am Fu Xuan, Master Diviner at the Divination Commission and one of the six charioteers. Far-flung friends ought to be received with fine wine. But alas, the heavens, earth, and body are not aligned for such an occasion. You'll allow for a postponement of the usual formalities, I trust? We should begin with the matter at hand. What the actual heck is she saying? I don't really know, to be honest, Marge. <laughs> um, but I think she saved us. She's just showing off with some big and fancy and words. <laughs> if the method of my speech is offensive to you, you need but say. We received an assignment from General Jing Yuan to arrest the Stellaron Hunter. Thank you, Diviner, for coming to I don't to believe we got Kafka. We must escort the fugitive to the general. How is this possible? I thought she was like an OP character. I don't know. Am I wrong? I hold a proclamation from the general here, if you care to see. Upon detaining the Stellaron Hunter, questioning and all further arrangements are to be undertaken by the Divination Commission. <laughs> Did the general just spare us a walk with Kafka? I knew he was a good guy. I didn't know we we're gonna meet Kafka so soon already. Kind of amazed, actually. I can't really believe it. Understood. However, the general promised that all intel would be shared with us. We have a right to know anything that Kafka divulges. Oh? That guy. Can I go one day without him throwing me under the... <laughs> we won't make things any more complicated than they need to be. We just want to listen in on the questioning. Very well. Urgency demands fluidity. The three of you shall accompany me to the Divination Commission. Uh, can't we do the questioning here? The Stellaron Hunters are slippery. What if she makes a break for it? We shouldn't delay. While I am here, she will not escape. Only the Divination Commission Where did she go? To make her talk and Where is she? Truth to light. The time has arrived. We must depart. Please proceed. Alright, let's go then. Let's disembark here, benefactors. Uh, oh, her colors. The color scheme here is so pretty. I relative seclusion, oh my god. But I can recognize my own territory. My god, guys, why are all these characters so good looking? All of them are so the design is so good. Like, wow, applause for that. Like, amazing. Why did you bring us here? Does this look like the Divination Commission to you? No need to yell, Master Diviner. The Meridian Pin is malfunctioning, and I couldn't find the entrance to the Delve. I wanted to get us straight to our destination, but this is the only place I could dock the Star Skiff. Look, Exalting Sanctum. This is a safe place. Let's just walk the rest of the way from here. <laughs> Our hexagrammatic position is fluctuating between the marsh and water trigrams. The vessel is stranded and the way <sighs> is blocked. I heard the Sienjo can tell your fortune. Is that how they do it? Anyone can count on their fingers. You count on your fingers? <laughs> oh, what's wrong with that? We've got ten fingers. May as well use them. <laughs> I just performed some quick divination, and the hexagram is consistent with our current predicament. The Star Skiff cannot take us to the Divination Commission today. Alas, without me in charge to handle the Stellaron crisis, I dare not even imagine the kind of mess the Commission must be in. It's true. The Divination Commission really can't go a single day without Lady Fu. Uh, that's why you have to develop your talent pool. Otherwise, everything falls apart when you go on vacation. <laughs> Since you are clearly ignorant of the commissions and she's so affairs, small, though, <laughs> absolve you of your ridiculous remarks. <laughs> I'm going ahead to make some inquiries. Oh, she looks so pretty. Wow. What about Kafka?
The prisoner must follow me every step of the way. This is Jing Yuan's order. Um, you might not want to hear this, but your general gave us his word. We have to be present when you question Kafka. <sighs> you think too little of me. My word is my bond. She's cute. <laughs> I will stick to my promise even if this cell collapses. That's very unlikely, by the way. To have this prisoner speak, the commission must resort to unconventional means. The nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. Forgive me. But I can assure you that the questioning will not begin until you arrive. Even if that means wasting precious time. I have appointed someone to wait for you in front of Exalting Sanctum Plaza. Once we've consolidated our internal affairs, you will be brought into the Divination Commission. Please be patient. Uh, okay. We trust you. Uh-huh. See you around. Interesting character. Uh, I think I offended someone again. She's just annoyed that you won't trust her. Hey, are you on her side? I just wanted to remind her not to break her promise, that's all. Just trying to look at the bright side. Don't take it to heart, March. Miss Fushen seems like a reasonable lady. I'm sure she's not angry with you. Really? I thought she was pretty icy. I'm sure she's just putting a tough brunt, like though. Like how you're always pretending to be quiet? I didn't choose to do that. They're not giving me enough voice lines. What, are you, what am I supposed to do about that? Okay, enough chit-chat. <sighs> I reckon the Divination Commission could be a while. Let's take a look around. Yeah! Oh, that star skiff was pretty cool. There must be loads of interesting things in Exalting Sanctum. Yeah, we're gonna explore a lot now. There's so much to explore, actually. Uh, that's the plaza. But uh, I can't see anyone waiting for us. Ooh. Should we look around? What is going on here? What's oh, going on with him? <gasps> oh no! That's not good! Everybody stay back! Oh! Mayu! We have her! <laughs> she was my first five star. <laughs> Don't worry, we got you. Protected. What is going oh, on? They're turning into these things. Let me tell your wounds. Uh, that'll teach you a lesson. Ready to lie down now? <laughs> <sighs> Thanks for helping to stabilize the patients. Your assertive sedation techniques are quite effective. Thank you. Assertive sedation <laughs> techniques? Uh, does she mean yes. beating people up? Yes, she does, March. However, these cloud knights were already sick, and now they're injured too. I've got to bandage up their wounds, realign their bones. Ugh, as if I didn't have enough on my plate. <laughs> Aren't you a little young to be realigning bones? She looks like a baby. Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? <laughs> I don't have a dad. Oh. Uh, what about your mom? I don't have a mom either. Um, um, this is awkward. I get it. You think because I'm small, I must be a runaway child. <laughs> Welcome to the Xian Show, my short-lived outsider friends. Appearances can be deceiving here. The Vidyadara race is self-reincarnating. No mom or dad required. What? Uh, studying the art of healing interesting my old show. you're looking at a recognized practicing dedicated doctor Bellabog kids are making snowmen while children here are writing prescriptions things haven't been very peaceful in the lawful recently make sure you don't <laughs> go running around right well your general gave us an errand so I'm afraid we have to Hmm. Well, seeing as you saved me just now, if you're unlucky enough to acquire any breaks or sprains, I'll treat you for free. As for medicine, I'll give you a 20% discount. Ooh, 20%? Let's go! I mean, 20% is 
but I'd rather have it for free. That doesn't sound very free to me. <laughs> Do you have any idea how many people on the law floor are waiting for an appointment with me? You should count this as a blessing. <laughs> if I hadn't left my purse at home, I wouldn't have to... <laughs> Enough of that. I have patience to see. Okay. Our little miracle worker seems very different from everyone else around. Don't you think, Mr. Yang? So this is the Vidyadara. I've only ever read about them. Vidyadara. Vidyadara. Not hard what to a see name. Why. They're known as the Dragon Race. I thought she was a mermaid. Excuse me, miss. Hold on a moment. Oh. It was only thanks to your help earlier that the Dragon Lady and those exalting Sanctum residents got away unscathed. Yeah, I mean... Dragon Lady? The dragon Lady of the Alchemy Commission. Lady that's Violet. not a lady, that's a baby. Stop. You Stop herself. You mean the child? She's starting to sound like a big shot. A friend in the Skyfaring Commission told me the General Commission guests to deal with the troubles on the Lafu. You must be the guests. If you don't mind... I hope you can take the time to come to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'd like to talk to you about the issues Exalting Sanctum is currently facing. Okay. Oh, we got a new message from Don Hong. Something happened just now. I just arrived at the Shangzhou. Are you alright? What happened? What are you doing here? I'll pretend that you replied I'm okay. It's a long story. I'm at Cloud Ford with a Cloud Knight. I'll join you when I come out. By the way, the express is fine. I came here by myself. I'll tell you about it later. I'm very interested. This place is so beautiful. It's really pretty. It's such a different vibe from Jarelo 6, actually. But we're gonna continue the story next time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I mean, I'm really excited about this. I feel like this is gonna be good. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here with me and enjoying this journey with me. And... Yeah, see you in the next video. Bye!